Colorado Knits podcast. My name is Carrie. I am your host. Today is Thursday, September 22nd, 2022, the first day of autumn. Um, I am here just outside of Denver to talk about knitting, not crochet today, lots of yarn, socks, um, and some plans. So if you're new here, thanks for joining me. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Hoping to keep today kind of short. I don't have a ton of knitting. Um, I have a lot of stuff on tap. And so with that, here's how you can get a hold of me, Administrivia. Um, Instagram, Colorado Knits. Making up, Colorado Knits. Uh, website, coloradoknits.net. Email, hello at coloradoknits.net. And I am on Ravelry as Colorado Knits. You can find me there, um, not on there as much. Uh, so again, thanks for joining me and let's get to the finished objects. I have something to show off. Uh, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Today is Thursday. I wanted to do this yesterday, but I finished this late Tuesday evening and realized it's not super wash. It is merino cashmere nylon from Sun Valley Fibers. And so it had to soak. And then I couldn't throw it in the dryer or anything because it's not super washed, so it had to dry. And yesterday, starting Tuesday night, was the first time it like significantly cooled down and got very wet here in Denver. So I had, um, it did not, my sweater did not dry for Wednesday. So on Thursday, we wear pink and you can see um, little touches here. Um, you can't see it, but here is the matching pattern. This is called the Lightweight Cape Cod Sweater. I don't know who it's by. I cannot recommend the pattern. It's okay. It's not great. I've talked about it before. Uh, but the yarn, Sun Valley Fibers Merino Cashmere Nylon in Fire Witch. And the contrast is Three Irish Girls Adorn Lux, which is an 80-20 in um, Witch's Brew. So we have Fire Witch and Witch's Brew, which was just by chance. Bought this yarn at Zombie Apocalypse in June, cast it on in August, and finished it in September. And I love it. Um, circular yoke sweaters, not, oh, I don't know, know what other kind of yoke sweater there is, but not, they don't always fit me great because I actually have pretty square shoulders, but I don't walk around like this. It's just, they fit kind of funky to me. It rides up. Um, might be fine if it were like a turtleneck or something, but it's a wider neck than that. Um, but I love how it goes from stripes to checks to different types of checks. Um, so I did this pattern for a second time. Um, I think I will be finding a different fingering weight sweater to make. Actually, I know I am, um, but I'm so glad this is done. Janine's um, MCN is so soft. I just want to wear this all the time. It is so lovely. Um, so that's one finished object. I have four finished objects today. Um, number two, come as no surprise to most people, a pair of shorty socks on the boardwalk footies in Knit Picks Felici in the mermaid tail colorway. Uh, I do an 18 row folded cuff and then I follow everything else to pattern um, on the under the boardwalks footies uh, pattern. These are just how I am using all of my stash up of single skein Felici. So um, lots of information on this on my website if you have any questions about that. But I am kind of bummed. I made these and then I realized after I finished them that these are like my friend Margaret's favorite colors, especially the purples, and that I should have made them for her. And she is significantly taller than me, like a foot. <laughs> So her feet are significantly larger than mine. So unfortunately, I can't just like hand these off to her, which is kind of a bummer. So, but still super cute. The next two items have been secret test knitting I have alluded to. And now I can show them because the, the collection has been released. Um, sorry, a plane is taking off. I do live close to the airport and it sounded like my dog was panting or something, but it's a plane. I will start um, with the first secret test knit that I did. These were for Paper Daisy Creations. They are two pair of socks. She has a new collection called the Socks of the Princess Bride coming out. I'm not a Princess Bride person. I've seen it one time. It's cute. I'm not that person who goes crazy. I need to make patterns that are like the Socks of Seinfeld or something. Um, but 
These were originally called Buttercup and then she changed the name to True Love. And um, these were super fun. I made these right after I finished my Summer Sorrel and the stitch is very similar to the Summer Sorrel or Sorrel. Um, I'm gonna tell you there's a ton of dog hair on these because they are black and I have three dogs. So here they are. These are, she has four socks, four sock patterns coming out. If you use the coupon code princess, like princess bride, they are $6, normally 20, but it's $6 for four patterns, two toe up, two cuff down. I did the toe up. Um, again, don't mind the dog hair. <laughs> and these are, um, I made them out of Happy Feet 100 in black. And then this is just some Always Be Kind Sparkle. Um, I'll show you the detail. There you can see the dog hair detail um, in white. And these were a super fun knit. Each of the socks has a different heel. Um, and I would probably put my own heel on here because I know how it fits. This was a little adventure for me and I like my socks, even if they're patterned, to be a little mindless at times. So having to figure out gauge and where to start the heel and where to start the toe, I know that on my regular vanilla socks, um, but I was following the patterns on these socks because that's what a good test knitter does. Um, but I love these. These are a gift for my mom um, because she likes black socks and I hate knitting black socks. So I knit her these. So they're not really black socks. Um, and then the next one I did in the collection is called Storming the Castle. And this is an all over lace sock you can see it's all over um and then on the foot there's uh the detail is plain on the bottom of the foot and then you've got the top um i made this out of cascade heritage um what had happened was i started a pair in medium and my gauge even though i was on a us zero doing magic loop because it's lace i figured it was going to be a little looser is too big and lisa needed someone to test the large so I tested the large as well. Um, I frogged what I was working on um, and decided to test it in the large for her. These fit no one in particular, so I only made one, but I love it. The pattern is super duper fun. Um, the details, so great, and you are never bored. Um, it's got, like I said, it's got the contrast heel. You could do it in one color if you wanted. Um, she in the directions had it for a contrast heel. It's got the... Uh, the banners here. This is just a great pattern. Again, four patterns for $6 right now. Um, so I don't know how long that sale goes on, um, but I highly recommend them. Like I said, two up, two toe up, two cuff down. So there's something for everyone. There is lace, there is color work, there's all sorts of stuff. Um, so those are all of my finished items. Um, Upcoming is the Pigskin Party, hosted by the Down Cellar Studio, Boston Jen. Um, and I always, this has gone on for nine years, and I participated, I think the first or second year, and then I took time off, and then I came back, and I always try to participate, but I just never do. <laughs> like, she, everyone, she does these amazingly intricate, crazy knit-alongs, like with all these points and all these prizes, and I always say I'm going to participate. And then I never, like, I knit a lot, but I never fill out the prize forms. So, um, but I'm going to try and participate this year. Uh, and so with that, whips are not allowed. So I'm trying to get stuff off of my needles as best I can. Um, and so I don't have a lot on my needles. I do have something I cast on and hopefully will be off my needles in the next two days. The, the pigskin party starts tomorrow. So um, I want to get some of these things off. Um, this is my travel knitting. It is just a simple sock by Always Be Kind Yarn in the birthday surprise colorway with a contrasting heel, toe, and cuff. I'm going to try and get three pair out of this lovely yarn. It's just so fun. So vibrant. Um, Laura's great at rainbows. I'm going to show you some yarn in a little bit that is not rainbows from Laura. Um, but this is the speckles in between. It's just, this is so fun. So I'm going to try and make three pair out of this. Um, starting with a full length sock, which I will finish because I'm about to get on a two hour budgeting call that I have no input in that I'm really just watching. Um, so I only to get a, my sock length, I go to, I fold it in half and go till the toe. And then I do a cuff in a different color. Um, and then the next 
Next set will be a pair of those on the boardwalk shorties. And then I do a pair of Turkish bed socks. And if I use contrasting heels and toes on each of them, Turkish bed sock does not have a contrasting heel. If I do contrasting heels, I get three pair of socks out of um, one skein of yarn. So that's really fun. And when it's something as just as beautiful and as fun as this, um, I totally want to maximize every yard of it. And with that, um, I'm working from home. I can wear any socks whenever I want. And right now I'm wearing like, it's cold out and I'm wearing Capri jeans because they're the most comfortable jeans I own. And I have little shorty socks on, but I, it's cold enough I could actually wear long socks. Um, and the other thing I have on my needles is um, from Mustache Yarn. I have Yellowstone, which was last year's National Park Camp colorway. Um, this year's is Big Bend and it is sitting on my kitchen table. Um, and it is being held in my um, beautiful sister bag. And I'll show you, I'm doing these two at a time, toe up on a US zero uh, carbons needle. And sometimes I feel like this is the most fun knitting I can do two at a time. I mean, look at how perfectly matched they are. They're actually one row off of each other, like a half a row, but you can't tell. Um, sometimes I feel like this is absolutely great. And then sometimes they just feel so fiddly that I have to go back to my nine inch sock sock. So this is, um, so I have sock knitting for all different mental states, ADHD states. Um, so that's, uh, that's all I've got on my needles. I have some other stuff, but it's not really like moving forward. And with the pigskin party starting tomorrow, I'm hoping to just cast on all the things. Um, and with that, I'm going to talk about all the things I'm going to cast on. Um, so the first thing I'm going to cast on, because it's been sitting forever, is my super bright blue cozy classic raglan. Um, and I'm going to be doing that in Hawthorne and a lot. I mean, look at that royal blue. That's going to be one bright sweater. But I'm so excited. I've been waiting to cast this on. I kept meaning to, and then I cast this on. And um, now I'm going to get credit for it for the pigskin party. And it's going to be a little, yes, it's fingering weight, but it comes out closer to a DK. So it's going to be pretty fast. And it's a raglan. So it's a lot less thinking than increasing evenly across 900 stitches. Um, so that's next, Cozy Classic Raglan. I will cast that on tomorrow morning. Well, not tomorrow morning because I have to work. Um, <laughs> I'll cast that on tomorrow afternoon. Um, that's first on my in my queue. Next in my queue, this is actually not in any particular order, but next is, oh, crinkle, 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 a rinoculus using Sorry for the reflection. Uh, get Knit Faced in Colorado. This is a color called Carrie's Sweater. Gosh, it looks a lot like, I don't know, <laughs> like this, doesn't it? But this is uh, DK and it's not gonna have any mohair with it. Um, I kinda have a thing for blue speckles. My summer sorrel is blue speckle. Um, so that's gonna be a ranunculus and I'll be casting that on soon as well. I think I'm gonna get the Cozy Classic Raglan done. It has been on my agenda for so long um, and it, that yarn has been wound. And so I wanna take the tension out of it and unwind it and knit it. Um, then my third sweater that I know I really wanna do, I have every intention, oh, this doesn't crinkle, yay. This is with the Lemonade Shop in Toxic Oreo. I'm probably going to do a pavement sweater or maybe some sort of short sleeve um, sweater, but I am always wanting my arms covered so a pavement I usually do, which is by Vera Balamaki. I did, I've done like six of them and all of them were eaten by the moths. Um, but I like everything I do, three quarter to bracelet length sleeves. So it's perfect. Um, and this yarn is just so pretty. The, the oatmeal color with the black and rainbow speckles just screams to me. So that's, um, those are the three sweaters I plan to knit over the next four months. Um, and then the final like definite on the books project, I actually have to start this weekend for sure. There's a lot of winding that has to happen. That's probably gonna happen tonight. Um, I mentioned Always Be Kind Yarn and Laura has, she has about eight advent calendars left. I know some people don't like them to be called advent. So I will slip up saying that. So countdown calendars, 
She has a holiday countdown um, and she is putting a pattern out with her countdown kits this year and she needed someone to test knit it. So of course I'm, I love Laura to death. So I am going to test knit her countdown calendar uh, pattern. And so I'm using, last year I bought an advent from her and it sat on my bookshelf. I opened the main skein and I opened three minis and the rest of the 12 just sat there. Even the candy and the tea sat there. Like I didn't open them at all. So I thought when she asked me to test knit, she's like, do you want me to send you yarn? Do you want it? I'm like, no, I have last year's advent. So let's do that. Um, so here's the main color from last year. Um, as I mentioned, she has about eight left of this year's. Um, so you can go to her website and I have a link in the show notes um, that you can find it. And one of the cute things she did last year, every day you got a little stitch marker, a little trinkety stitch marker, and you got candy and tea. So you can't complain. That was the main color. And then I'm going to show you in groups of three because everything's grouped um, color wise in three of her colors. I'm going to have to take a picture so that I keep them in order, though it does not really matter with this pattern. Um, that one, I will not be using that stitch marker because it is a jingle bell and it will drive me bonkers. Um, and then here are the finals. So you can see that's, it's not a rainbow. It's a fade, but it's not a rainbow. Laura does do non-rainbow things. Just sometimes I like my socks to be really bold. Apparently I like my sweaters bold too. But um, I'm really excited to knit this up. It is just, her yarn is super squishy. It is a 75, 25, uh, 420 yard put up. And it's just, it is so round and squishy and plump. Um, so really looking forward to knitting that. It's gonna be like a stole wrap. It's not gonna be super wide, um, but that's what I like our wearable blankets. So looking forward, I'm gonna cast that on. Like I just said with everything else, I'm gonna cast that on tomorrow probably. Um, that's a definite for, that's time constrained. I want to get it done in two to three weeks um, so that she can have some photos when she sends out the pattern. Um, she's test knitting it herself, but she knows I'm a fast knitter. So um, I will be winding these up after work today. So a um, couple other things I want to knit. I, um, the Relentless Knitting Company podcast, uh, they are doing Colder Than a Witch's Tata. <laughs> Um, knit along, which is a winter um, support the girls uh, knit along. So it is for bras or camis, um, like bralettes or camis. And I am really looking forward to knitting a cami because the concept of um, having an extra layer of super soft stuff next to your skin, like how lovely to have a knit camisole under your sweatshirt or whatever, like your own little secret. Um, and so I've got obviously a lot of single skeins. I am pretty petite, uh, very petite up here. So I could be doing this with, you know, 400 yards. Um, and I have found, um, a Jessie Mae design. Um, and I am thinking one of these two, which came from, um, my Simply Socks yarn club would be a super, would be super nice like this. Oh my gosh, this under a black cardigan, love it. Um, I wish I had enough of the pink left over to make one out of MCN, but also this is not Superwash MCN, which is A, good because it won't uh, it won't stretch out as much, but also not good because of the washing. And I am, I am a lazy laundress. Um, I love washing my, just throwing my socks in the washing machine and stuff. So I don't do that many things that are not Superwash. I know Superwash is horrible for the environment. Please don't at me about that. I know, I know. Um, so uh, those are that's everything that's on my agenda. And then of course, lots and lots of socks. Um, I have more Felici to knit up. I have um, so much, so much sock yarn. Um, I have stuff from uh, Apple Yarn Company. I have things from artistic yarn by Abby to knit up. So I am going to show you my last, um, I'm going to be dropping my artistic yarn by Abby monthly club um, for a couple reasons. I have way too much of her yarn right now. I'm just not caught up on knitting. And secondly, I'm not getting the value out of the kit. I do love the yarn, but she sends a whole bunch of other stuff that I just never use. 
And so I, I'm trying, I don't want stuff. I just want yarn. <laughs> I don't need all the other stuff. So with that, I'm going to show you this month's um, exclusive colorway. Eventually she does release them. And I have a local yarn shop. She's in Colorado Springs. She's 90 miles from me. I have a local yarn shop that sells a lot of her colorways. So I can just go down there if I want some or I could order from her. Um, I just don't need it every month at this point. So here is, uh, it's called a Rainbow of Apples. And you can see it has got all the colors of different apples. And then it's got the little seeds. And of course, she always sends a stitch marker. That doesn't count as stuff. I'm fine with this. This is the stuff that I like. Um, and she always sends, if you're part of the club, you get a 20 gram mini for heels, cuffs, and toes, which I, that's great. Um, but then she sends little trinkety things. And this is like, this is what I don't need. This is a pad of paper. Looks like an apple. And then she also sent a little fake apple, like a faux apple. What am I going to do with that? I don't need stuff. I have enough stuff. So that's why I'm dropping the, the club, not because of the yarn by any means. Um, I just prefer to just have the yarn. So, um, and I got so much yarn. If you've watched, you know, I have been binging on yarn. Um, I think I mentioned at the top, I worked two jobs for a couple months. So I had twice the salary coming in and I think I spent all of it on yarn. Um, so that's a good and a bad thing. Um, I have a dog here. I have two dogs, but one has decided to come in and say hello. The other is lying on my grant writing chair and the third is downstairs. Um, so uh, I have, because I can't just not have a yarn subscription because I get total FOMO when I see people with yarn subscriptions. And I've seen so many people have the Yarnable subscription, um, which is from Hypnotic Yarns. And she just opened up her subscriptions and then she closed them again and they won't be open again until 2023. But she does custom, like a, a exclusive, couldn't think of words, words are hard today, an exclusive colorway uh, for a couple months. And then I think you can get it, but I'm not really sure how it works. But um, she does sneak peeks and I saw the October one and I'm like, yes, I want that. And so I swapped it out. It's actually less expensive than Artistic Yarn by Abby. She does have the stuff in there as well. And I just, I really just want yarn that's just a yarn color. I know some people want the other stuff. I just want the yarn. Um, I'm really, um, my friend Raina is the same, going through a purge right now. And I just want to get rid of all the stuff in my life. Um, I'm never going to be a minimalist, but I just don't need the stuff. Um, so, uh, Yarnable, I will start getting that at the end of October, early November. Um, so I'm excited about that. And in between now and then, I just intend to knit, 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 knit. Like it's my job, except I do have a job, but I only have one right now. I have a contract on some other jobs. <laughs> so I really don't just have one job. Um, and that's it. That is what I've got going on. Um, there's another acquisition that's downstairs that I will show you when I cast on. But other than that, I've been trying to be pretty good about not buying yarn. I laugh because the last, the last knitting podcast was all yarn all the time. Um, and I'm just going to knit through all that and see what we can do. Um, and that's it for this week. So um, I hope to catch you back here in about two weeks. Um, you will not get to see this being knit up, the um, advent, the countdown shawl, but I will um, be casting on sweaters and be able to share those and I'll be finishing up some socks. Um, I'm pretty sure I will get both of the socks that I have on my needles off my needles just so that I can can get all the points for um, pigskin party, even though we know I'll never submit the form. <laughs> um, so that's what's going on here. I don't have any rants and raves because I recorded this once already, really, and my rant just went on. <laughs> and I don't really have anything great or awful that's going on. My big thing, um, my sage words of advice, are be good to one another, be nice. Like nothing is so important that you have to get as upset as you're getting about it. Um, unless it's like life or death, literally, your kid not getting the playing time you want in their soccer tournament, it's not life or death. And your kid doesn't, your kid will survive. Um, if you put importance on that, they're gonna put importance on that. So, um, 
that was my rant was all about that sort of stuff. Um, but just be good to one another. Knit your yarn. Don't, you can have a stash, that's your call, but don't stare at it and don't knit it because it's just too pretty to knit. Um, enjoy it, use it, love it. And I will see you in a couple of weeks. Uh, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon.